Mom, I need help. If I don't get it on time, you will lose your daughter. God forbid. Not while God Almighty is still on the throne. My daughter, what is the problem? Talk to me. Mom, I think Michael is cheating on me. That is a very wrong thing to say. Especially if you do not have evidence to back up your claims. Mom, the first time and the last time we got intimate was the night of our wedding. If he's not cheating on me, then, then why? If that rascal, that swine, is cheating on you, I will crush Please. you. Please. I was against this relationship in the first place. I mean, I, when I was doing all that, people thought I never wanted my daughter, you know, to be in love. So you saw that as one stupid, heartless father. Yes. So, what are you insinuating? I'm not insinuating anything. All I'm saying is, let's make her understand that there is a difference between wedding and marriage. Wedding, you know, in wedding, you, you know, you, you get excited, you know, you dance, you have fun, the friends are shouting, you know. Like I said, there's excitement in the air. You have a shabby, which I don't know what you guys call it, and co, and all that. Wedding. In marriage, there are challenges. <laughs> That's where you show your love, you know. That's where you must settle your problems, you know. How did you tell me that you were in love with him? But Dad... Dad! Is that all you have to say? All I'm saying is, you are married now. Stay there. Stay married. Solve your problems with your husband. No third party. Leave us out of it. to sit down comfortably and watch our own daughter suffer in the hands of that stupid rascal swine that we picked from the gutter? <laughs> I remember vividly how you and your daughter insulted me and called me names because of that same young man you are not calling stupid, senseless, or whatever. So, you are going to watch her suffer in his hands? Come on, honey. Come on. She's all we've got. All I'm saying is that if our daughter knows what is good for her, she should take the next available flight this afternoon and go back to her husband. Period. Sweetheart. Yes, ma'am. Your father is just being angry over your past disobedience. He loves you. And I love you too. Are you alright? <laughs> I just pray he finds a place in his heart to forgive me someday. And I pray it won't be too late. Because I love him. And I love you too. I love you too, my darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Your father wants you to. I know. I heard everything. I heard both of you talking about it. I'm so sorry. It's fine, Mom. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Father, after giving me a very good upbringing, the best education, and all I could ever ask for as a daughter, since I was a child, I disappointed you and shamed you. Please forgive me, if possible. Sweetheart, please, say something. You, you stepped into this home without invitation and you stepped out without permission. The day you stepped out of this house the girl and stay with that nonentity was actually the day you ceased to be my daughter. Yes. Are you like officially disowning me? Are you kidding? I will not allow that to happen in this house. Yes, it is not going to happen. Because if she leaves, I leave too. It is entirely your choice, woman. If that is what you want, so be it. And let me warn you, woman, that day you step through that door, you cease to be my wife as well. Sometimes the heart plays tricks on us. It does but not in our dreams. I see you standing alone, and it breaks my heart. I don't quite follow. You were soaked in blood. No one was there to help you. You fell from only God knows where. I woke up, soaked in tears. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my family. I thank you for everything you've been doing for us. I thank you for the life of my husband. Lord, I don't know what I've done wrong. I don't know what is happening to my husband. He no longer cares for me. He no longer come home. 
Lord, I don't know what is keeping him away from the house. I don't know what is keeping him away from me. But you said in your word that the heart of a king is in your hand and you can turn it like the rivers of water. Lord, I am asking you, please turn the heart of my husband back to me. Lord, I ask you, please make him be the man that he was before. Help him to love me one more time like he used to. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, whoever it is that is putting misunderstanding between us, whoever it is that is taking him away from me, Lord, I ask that you put enmity between two of them. Separate them, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I know that you will not give me what is wrong, but you will give me what will favor me. Lord, I am asking you to give me what is mine in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, whoever is putting asunder between us, Lord, I ask, O oh God, that you separate them, put hatred between them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello, am I on Shinikita? Yes, this is she. Sorry, I, I... Forgive my manners, I don't have this number on my phone. Who is this? <laughs> I know, right? It's Shiny, the lady you met at the salon a few weeks ago. Oh, my dear. Hey, girl. How are you doing? I've been good. Okay, how is that husband of yours? Hope he's fine. Hello? Can you come out? I'm with some friends here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I can't. It's kind of late. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. We are all married and responsible ladies here, so sure you can come out. Come oh, join us. Nice to have you here. Okay. Like I told you on the phone, these are the ladies I roll with. We are very responsible. And married to the most eligible man in this town. Yeah. Yes, girl, I'm serious. So, this is Ruth. Hi. This is Edelweiss. Hi. And that's Vera. Hi. So, ladies, this is my new friend, Shiny. Nice to meet you, girls. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Shiny. Nice to meet you all, girls. You're welcome. Thank you. Our new friend is quite beautiful. Oh, thank you. Lovely name for a beautiful lady. Oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> but you look quite young to be a married lady. Uh, uh, uh. That doesn't change the fact that she's married. Hmm? Dear, you're welcome to our clique and it's nice knowing you. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> you don't look happy, girl. You're trying to fake it, right? No. I'm good. I'm, I'm just fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm just that I'm... Missing. It's not a bad idea to miss him. Sometimes it's good to miss our partners. Makes it fun when we finally get back together. Yeah. yeah. And when you both finally get back together, you feel like they never left. Oh, for the love of God. Why are you all putting these ideas of a, about missing someone or being together? You all know my husband is out of town. He's busy. So just give me a break. Get out. Why are you so crazy about sex? Bad girl. Excuse you, he is my husband for crying out loud. And if I don't give it to him, you will. <laughs> we want to go my help me take care of my husband. He's mine. <laughs> so why are you being so serious? Where do you think you're coming from by this time of the day? Did you ever bother to check your time? Oh, baby, I was with my friends now. I thought... You thought what? That I won't be back today or ever? Was that even why you didn't even bother calling me this evening? Oh, baby, I'm so, so... Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Now leave my sight. What are you still waiting for? I said leave my sight!
What kind of punishment is this? Michael, why are you doing this to me? Why? What have I done to deserve this? Maybe even if you forgot me, I forgot I'll be back today. How can you forget today of all this? The 1st of April, which happens to be our anniversary. How could you? Maybe I missed you. I really did. And you know it hurts to be forgotten by someone who is so special to you. Please, in your heart, um, forgive me, please. It's okay, it's okay. Sit down, sit down, please. It's okay, it's okay. Guess what? Yeah, baby. I got a present for you for really? your anniversary. Oh, and tada, this is it. Oh my god, for our anniversary. Baby. I, I, I just hope <laughs> you would like it. Yes, I love it, baby. I love it. Come, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 what? just hold on. What again? Shut your eyes. Ah, you know I don't like surprises. Come mm. on, baby, stop the jokes. Shut okay, your okay, eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Shut them properly. Oh, they are all short, they are all short. Okay, okay. Mm. Where are you heading to now? Babe, mm. are you there? Yeah. Stretch out your hands, your little hands. Can I open my eyes? Mm -mm, not yet. <laughs> yeah, baby, I got this for you. That's for our anniversary. Wow. Love it. Yeah, baby. I love, love it. it. Oh, that's so sweet of you, baby. This is beautiful. Yeah, baby. Calm down. Don't say anything. Come here, baby. <laughs> So how was your day today, baby? Today was nerve wrecking, darling. Mm -hmm. I told you, man. Oh, dear, I'm so sorry. Let me quickly run inside and run the bathroom for you to freshen up, okay? All right, baby, because I'm warming up for you tonight, you oh, know? <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been warming up. All right, I'm waiting for you, darling. Right, I'm coming. Right, okay. Baby, you want me every time. <laughs> 
Mm. It's not the flat tree. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, you're driving me crazy, bro. <laughs> so if you felt that way, then why did you stop? Because I wanted you to rest. Mm. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> Just tell me you got tired. Tired? Nah. <laughs> All right. So, Tom, how was your day? Yeah, my day was good. I was out with friends. Nikita introduced a new friend today. She's beautiful and friendly. But I believe she has a problem, though. My problem detector. So, what did you detect this time and how do you know about it? Babe, it was so obvious. It was all about her. And I think it has to do with her husband. <clears throat> Don't go there. Mind your business. Her marital problem is strictly her business. You have no business there, so just let it be. Calm down, babe. I was just concerned, that's all. Th that's fine. To show concern is not bad, but then don't cross it. Okay. Baby. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let that conversation to ruin our evening. What are you reading? Ah, uh, just catching up on the news. Okay. Mm. What's up? Mm, cool. I met someone. Okay. Yeah, there is this very beautiful, nice, friendly, adorable, very well behaved, um, elegant. <laughs> Don't okay. give me that look. Okay. Fine, fine. <laughs> I understand if I'm wasting your time, okay? But she's very sweet and I want her to be my friend. Why? Because she's beautiful and all those things? No, because she's responsible and very innocent, like I said. Wait, hold on. Are you... <clears throat> are you asking for my permission? Or is there something else to this? <laughs> you. You know why I love you? Because you're very intelligent. But, yeah, like I said, because she's sweet, she's innocent and very responsible. And I want her to be my friend. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want my permission, you have it. Seeing as you never ask my permission for anything anyway. And, uh, besides, I think, you know, she'd be a very good influence on you. So, yeah. Please. Fine. My friend she is then. Well, my friend she is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you seen this one? Mm. Who's that? What's the title? I have to check. <clears throat> Shiny, why are you like this? We've been asking you and you refuse talking to any of us. If you can't confide in any of us, at least you have Nikita to trust. Friendship is a form of interpersonal relationship, generally being considered closer than association. So let me break it down for you just in case you're a little confused. You see, friendship is an in-depth relationship. It's relaxed and comfortable, not stiff. Mm -hmm. Friendship is sweet, especially when it's from the heart. So open up, girl. Talk to us. My dear, open your heart. Free yourself. Make light your burdens. What you are going through might not be as hard as you think. I mean, you don't need to let your body weigh you down where you can easily shake it off. I mean, just shake it off. Yeah. And forget about your worry. Yeah. Okay? Shake it off. Shake it off. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> you know what that means. Come on. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> yeah. So, talk to us. You know we love you. Mm -hmm. Back then, Michael was a true lover, a real man. He was all a woman needs in a man, and even more. 
You are so sweet. It's okay. <laughs> What's up, big feast? I'm good, and you? You don't look happy. Is something wrong with you? You know you can talk to me, right? Just like old time. I don't feel like talking to anyone on this. I'd rather keep it to myself. Okay, if that makes you happy. <laughs> Where's mom? I think she should be in the parlor or maybe her room. I don't know. Okay. Can you please call her for me? Okay. Sure, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sweetheart. Yes, Mom. I hope there's no problem. Mom. Yes? Promise me you won't get mad. Why should I get mad at you? Wait a minute. Shiny, are you pregnant? God, I can't believe you, Mom. <sighs> so what is it? I'm in love. Wow. <laughs> you are in love. Yes, Mom. I knew <laughs> it. I knew it. <laughs> <sighs> you knew? Of course, he is a very handsome prince. Every woman in her right senses will fall head over heels in love with him. Wow, I can imagine how that wedding day will look like. My friends, your friends, relations, well wishers. Wow, I can't wait. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> My mom, what prince are you talking about? My dear, King Justus is a very large hearted man. We have been friends since our childhood. And as a matter of fact, the relationship did not start with us. It started with our fathers because they two were childhood friends. I'm talking about a very nice and reputable family like ours. You see, both of us promised each other that my daughter and his son will be married someday. I'm really sorry I, I did not tell you this earlier. My dear, he is a very fine prince. You will love him. He is everything that a woman will want in a man. See? Mom, I am not interested. And Dad, is this what both of you take me for? Shiny, what is wrong with you? Why are you getting all worked up? Because I am in love with someone else, Mom. Don't, don't worry about that. It's why you don't see him anymore. You will stop feeling anything for him. Okay? Dad, you amaze me. I love Michael. And I'm going to get married to him, with or without your spouse. How dare you talk to your father in such a disrespectful manner? Have you been spoken with? Have you lost it? No. Get out! Dad. Mom. Yes, dear. I'm sorry to have someone both of you like this. I'll be very fast. I'm sorry for all the pains and heartache I've caused both of you these few days. Please forgive me. Your point. I've always done what both of you want since I was a child. The clothes I wear, where I go to, the friends I keep. This is the only one thing that I'm asking you for. Please. <laughs> it is obvious you do not even know the danger I'm trying to shield you from. You see, my dear, your mother and I have 
I'm just trying to ensure that you we're trying to help you. That's why we're trying to ensure that you're married into a reputable family where you'll be happy and comfortable. Will I be comfortable? I mean very, very comfortable the rest of your life. Okay? Um, we love you. We want you to be happy. We don't want you to get married tomorrow and start suffering or start regretting. We want you to always be happy. That is what we want for you. But you don't understand. But mom, <clears throat> I love this guy and I trust him. Shiny. Trust is end, else it is foolish. Anyway. You will marry the prince, and that is final. Dad, I will marry Michael. Now that is final. About what we discussed, right? I did. I spoke to them. They, they said, they said I have been engaged to someone since I was a child. Michael, he's still at the gate. He doesn't want to leave. Then do your job. Chase the dog away. Okay, sir. Oh, go now, or, or you'll be fired. Go and, go and chase him away. Get out. Hey. I've heard dog last my food. That is why he's behaving like a dog. He is a dog. embarrass him like that. What? How could you both embarrass him like that? My friend, will you shut up? I said shut up. So that is the Michael you've been ranting about. That low life. That low life you're talking about is somebody's child. And, and whose child is he? What's his pedigree? Can you tell me the name of his father or mother? It's not fair, Mom. Honestly, Shani, I am so disappointed in you right now. Mom, it's not fair. It's not fair. He's human too. And I love him. You love him? Then go to his house and love him. This is my house and I am in charge. Go now or else. Or else what, Dad? Are you questioning me? How dare you talk while your father is talking? You spoiled brat. Now get out from here. And then, ah! Fine. I'm out.
then you want to kill yourself because of my God. Honey, what was the meaning of what you did earlier today? What if she had killed herself? Of course, I knew she wouldn't. What do you mean by you knew she wouldn't? She's my daughter, and I watched her grow. I know what she's capable of doing. Killing herself or someone else isn't part of it. No. My dear, you better stop gambling with people's lives because times have changed. Really? You should thank God that nothing happened to her. If not, it wouldn't have been funny at all. Ah. Wow. Tell me. Can you imagine? Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Sneaking around like a thief. I saw blood flying everywhere, so I was trying to take heed. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just joking, but seems it wasn't funny. <laughs> I have something very important to tell you. Really? Yes. That's like earlier today. Not really. He said if the young lady said she is tired of her life and wants to rest, let her do it. As long as she doesn't do anything to disgrace me while she's alive. Okay. So? Dad doesn't want anything that will disgrace him. The only thing that will make Dad let you marry my care is something annoying, shameful, and disgusting. Because Dad doesn't want anything that will tarnish or ruin his image. So what do you think that I will do that will make Dad feel so disgusted to let me go? News headline Nigerian most eligible business tycoon and billionaire's daughter is said to be pregnant for one low life gutter rat. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you come to help me or to mock me? And what is going on here? Who is mocking me? By the way, what are you two still doing in the sitting room at this time? Um, I, um, uh, we, we, we were, um, 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 um,
<laughs> now, I want the both of you to go back to your room. Now! Alright, mom. Let's go. Think about it. Fine. Mom. Yes, dear. It's like shiny is sickle. Why did you say that? I'm not sure. But she has been vomiting mostly morning and night. And she's always feeling weak. Strong, moon. Weak at night. Are you sure about what you just said? Yes, for the vomiting and weakness, I am sure. But for being sick, I am not sure. Oh my God. If that is true, I am so, so dead. Dead? <gasps> Why? Where is she? She's upstairs now. Please, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Are you okay? Please, tell me the truth. Nothing will happen to you, okay? I don't understand. Are you sick? Are you throwing up? Mom, I'm fine. Sure, you are fine. Uh huh, I'm fine. Okay. Fine, mom. If you are sure you are fine. Ella? Mm. She said she's fine. Okay. I were you, I would start talking now. Mom, I told you, there's nothing wrong with me. Then why are you throwing up? Maybe because of what I ate last night. I did not see you at the dining for dinner. So who gave you the food that is upsetting your stomach? Mm, Ella did. Who? Ella? Me. It's not me. You don't want to say anything, right? Good. 
There is only one way to find out and to break this stupid silence of yours. Mom, we don't need this. I told you I'm fine. I know. My daughter is sick and you are congratulating me. I don't understand. What is the congratulations for? I'm congratulating you because it's a good news. Your daughter here is two weeks pregnant. What? What? Shiny! She is... Oh my god! our best as parents to give you good education provide everything that you need make sure that you do not lack anything shiny this is the way you decided to be with Spanker. you are a disgrace to the family Exactly one week today that we discovered that our daughter, a child that we trusted so much, is pregnant. And since we quarreled with her, she has not even bothered to come apologize to us. Honey, I mean, please. Don't bother yourself. Please, just calm down. She is just a baby. What? I hate it when you call her a baby. Do babies run after men and get pregnant? Please, please. Calm down. Calm down, please.
can't resist Jesus. But you have that car key. I've been very selfish and stupid for some time now, but that's because I love Michael. But I can never compromise the love I have for both of you for him. Please forgive me, Daddy. Please, please, Daddy, Mommy, please. So, what do you intend to do with that thing? I I would I would I I wanted I, I want to have an abortion. What? She wants to have an abortion. Shiny. Do you know what it means to have an abortion? Do you? Apart from the risk, you are taking the life of an innocent child. You could also lose your life, you fool. But mommy, what would you have me do? What? Young lady, this is not the time to shed crocodile tears. That dog, whatever you call him, invite him over for dinner. Wake up, girl. Smell the coffee. Look on the bright side of life. Excuse you. You are excused, girl. <laughs> you know what? News flash. That thing in between your legs is sick. It is suffering from being untouched. It is sick. And <laughs> do I look like I'm not being serious here? I'm very serious, girl. This girl here need someone to rock her engine real hard before it knocks permanently. <laughs> Don't mind her. She never takes anything serious. That's why when others are going right, she's going left. Are you by any chance insulting me? And if I'm insulting you, Nikita at that Simon, what are you going to do? Hmm. You know what? Advise Greg. Edmund. One more word from you and I will have your teeth on the ground. Try me this time, Nikita, and I'll lure your shit back. Hello, my darling sister. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm 
I'm so happy I called you. I told you forgotten all about me because I traveled to the state. Mm -hmm. How can I ever forget you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> good news for you. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm through with school. Hmm. And guess what? I'll be coming back to Nigeria in two days. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I can't wait to see you either. Big sis. Yeah? Hello? Are you there? Shiny, hello? <laughs> How is Michael? Sis, Michael has changed so much. He's no longer the man I met and fell in love with. The last time Michael touched me was the night of our wedding. Since then, he has not touched me again. And that night, I had to beg him for it. I pleaded with him. Oh dear. Have you tried to find out what you did to hurt him? I've tried everything. I've spoken with him. I've pleaded with him. I got angry sometimes. I apologize. But he don't even have anything to say about it. It's okay. Just calm down. Whatever it is, God is in control. Are you sure he isn't cheating on me? Don't prophesy negativity with your mouth. All will be well. Where's Anita? <laughs> You're sitting right here with me. <laughs> <laughs> your namesake is fine. She's somewhere inside. Okay. Yeah. Do you know something? I forget that. I'm even an eater too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. She told me. Hi, mom. Mom is fine. Hi, Dad. Mama. Ha. Timon. What's up, Mama? Good to see you. Very well. What's up, my brother? How you doing? Very well. How you doing? What's up, my guy? You just kept me waiting. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for, I'm just trying to get ready for work. What's up with you? How are you doing? Very well. You're not looking bad, though. Thank you. <laughs> what are these are guys now? Greg and uh, Carl. You know that they were caught up in on heavy traffic. Very ah. heavy one now. Ah, but they should have left on time now. So what's good now? I think, I think my brother. You know we're running late. We have yeah. so many things to catch up. Actually, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But as we come out now, we just have to ring them on phone. Now. Absolutely. Yes. Let's... Maybe we'll still go down and have some breakfast uh, before leaving. Sweetie, leave. we're late. We have so many things to do today. Really? Uh, yeah. We're, we're late. We're running late. Thanks. Okay. So Maybe yeah. some other time. Okay. Some other time. Yes. Right. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day. I've missed you so much, baby. I missed you too. Hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You know, I carry you here mm. wherever I go. Are you serious? Cool. How sweet. <laughs> you know, I missed you so much that I dreamt that you actually came back and we made love. Only for me to wake up and find that it was just a dream. Hey. I promised you I was going to make tonight special. 
I meant to. And besides, you know, all work and no play is making Mike a dog boy. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? No. <laughs> Come on. Baby, please, don't keep this cold. Baby, baby, you, baby. Can, you, you, you might be so warm. I really need to take this. You <laughs> What's in that bag? Oh, this case, you don't want to put more board for me. Uncle <laughs> Timo, my husband, yes. bought for you. Hey, I, I thought he never wanted you to stay in this house. How come it's becoming all of a sudden very nice, huh? Wow, me too, I'm surprised. Oh. Maybe God has touched him, he has changed his mind towards me. God touched him. Talking about changing his mind, the husband that I married doesn't easily change his mind. I be does he? It's not possible. It's very possible now. God has touched him, or don't God easily touch someone or change someone? Oh, hey, hey, hey. uh, I hope so. Hey, God touched his mind. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me that you're not happy. Speaking about travelers, yeah. I heard your husband is back. Hmm. Ah, boy. And you heard who told you? <laughs> Excuse you? Hmm. Why are you talking like that? I mean, you talk as if you don't know our stand in society. We are the biggest of this town, don't forget that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our husbands are the most eligible men that run this town, with our help, of course. Mm -hmm. You can say that again, mm -hmm. girl. Oh, yes, I'm <laughs> saying it. <laughs> So you see, nothing about us is hidden. We are superstars. I hear you, huh? Rockstar Nikita. <laughs> yeah, I can say that again. Okay, back to my question. Yeah. Shiny, mm -hmm. I believe that after a month of missing your husband, you guys must have rocked it hard yesterday. I have no doubt in my mind that that bed was screaming. Free me! Free me! <laughs> Tell us about it. Come yeah, on. Come on. <laughs> well, I was seeing a movie yesterday evening mm -hmm. when my husband came back. Okay. And everything was hot. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that, wow, my husband has changed. Only for him to leave. Until now, he's not back as usual. That was how I enjoyed yesterday. Oh boy. That was how I enjoyed my husband. Mm -hmm. When will he come around? You see, my husband doesn't love me anymore. I think he's seen someone else. And like Nikita said, if a man cannot be faithful to his wife and he's going out then i think i should get myself a boyfriend oh hallelujah come on girl that's the spirit i never thought i could exit that's, that's <laughs> nice that's the spirit girl now you're ah. talking to oh, please will you all just shut up and stop oh. gasping at me Sorry. what is it she's not wrong of course it's just fine yeah listen if men think they can go about cheating on us, I think we have equal right to do the same thing. Yeah, girl. Yeah? I mean, they go about putting their you-know-what into you-know-where, and they expect us to just sit back and take it. Well, hello, I ain't going to take it. I won't take it, and neither should you, 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 and you, girl. Go get yourself a man. 
I need some drink in this house, please. I'm testing. I'm coming. <laughs> Give me a minute. Yes, please get me something. Yeah. Okay. Baby. Baby. What is it? Why are you answering me like that? What do you want? I don't have energy for arguments today. Oh, whatever. I wanted to tell you something. Are you interested or not? I'm listening. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to say, no, I'm not interested. Well, do you know that some men have very useless characters? Seriously. Okay. It's about my friend Shiny. What about her? Tell me something, baby. How can a man get married to a woman for over two years and after taking her virginity, he refused to touch her? <laughs> How is that any of your business, Enki? <laughs> Why would you say that? It's my business, of course. She's my friend. Hello? Anyway, I've given her a very good advice. I've told her to go and look for a boyfriend. It's obvious her husband is cheating. So let her do the same thing. Enki! Seriously? Yeah. It's not only people that need it. on your mind. Baby, why are you doing this to me? Why are you punishing me? You know that I love you so much. Please, stop doing this. It's enough already. You know I love you. I love you so much. And I want you to stop. It's enough already. I love you, baby. Oh, you were you were talking in your sleep. Said some funny things. Like you're not wanting to cheat on your husband. Who are you talking to? Baby, why are you doing this to me? Why are you punishing me? You know that I love you so much. It's enough. Just stop it already. It's okay. I love you, my friend. It's okay. It's okay. I will. Madam, this one is in heaven. I come back for you. Madam, this one is sweet. So, wait, oh. Now, this thing now got a shop since. Now, I love you, bump picking. Madam, I tell you, eh. If I come here, they do this thing every day. Madam, I give you, eh, two weeks. 
Na Ijima. <laughs> Thank you. You can go back to your duty post now. Madam, make I come do one more now. We're done. That made it sweet. Well, that made it sweet. Hey. Hey, wait. Hey. My wife is enjoy. This is for that wife. They feel like to dance my wife. I think we're going to finish your work with that small person. Madam, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing, Anita, it's fine. Jesus Christ! You're burning up! It's almost like there's fire underneath your skin. Mm. See, let me get you drugs, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. No, don't worry, Anita, it's fine. What is wrong with me right now? Even the whole drugs in the world cannot fix me. My birthday, sure. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. May your heart's desires be met in Jesus' name. Amen. And You're you so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve more than this, you know. But please, you have to do me one favor. Whenever you see anything unusual in the house, take a shot or just call me. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to make a favorite dish for you that will calm all your nerves down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh, this is so lovely. You know, I actually need a little massage. sleep and reduce the pain while I stitch your wound. You stitch my wound? Yes, I did. While dressing the wound, I found out it was deep and that was why you were bleeding so much. So I had to stitch it. I hope you did not stitch my veins. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh my God. What happened? I cut my hand when I was cooking. So what happened? I actually cut my hand when I was cooking in the kitchen. Oh my God. Sorry. Honey, could you help her look at this? Sure. No, don't worry. It's, it's fine. All right then. Are you sure? Look, I insist. No, no, it's fine. So Honey, check it. That way we can all be rest assured that you're fine. Have yeah. You, have you been to a hospital? No. I need to take care of it. And you're sure she didn't put like pepper and my gear and salt and things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. That's even better. What if she had added detergents? <laughs> so you all came from your various houses to use my friend's fingers, pepper soup, right? <laughs> so what? Somebody please get me a lighter. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, Seriously. It's I'm bad. Fine. I'm fine. It's okay. Oh. How's everybody doing? Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. 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 Um, yeah. Sorry I didn't make your part. Uh, please forgive me. That's okay. Um, 
Thanks, Kiko. Of course. Kitchen cooking when <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Go on, you were in the kitchen cooking when in what? I was in the kitchen when I hey, please um, but I, I I need to answer this call, okay? No, it's fine, just go ahead. I'm really sorry, forgive me, right? Don't touch me! I am sick, tired, and getting irritated of all of your nonsense. Baby. Don't baby me. Just just get out. Get out! Just go away! Get out from here! Just go out. Just go! Um, please, if um, Shiny comes looking for me, tell her to meet me up at the salon. Of course. Okay. All right, take care. Bye. Don't miss me too much. Okay. Even tell me to excuse you because I won't. There's no need to excuse me. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh she said that she, you should meet her up at the salon. Oh, okay. I'll just go. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She said I should meet her up at the salon. I'm going there. So you're just you're just going to go. Mm-hmm. Just like that. You just I don't understand. Shine. Yeah. This is the first time we are <laughs> This is the first time we have a chance to spend some quality time together. This is the first time we have a chance to be together, you and I. You know the way I feel about you. And, and you're just, just going to walk away? Come on, Shine. You know I love you. I love my husband. I, it doesn't...
Thank you. Nita, what's wrong with you? Baby, what's wrong with her? I wish I knew. I've been, I've been trying to talk to her, but I've not been able to for a while now. Can you please excuse us? Oh, sure. If it's going to make her talk. I just remembered how you picked me up. If not for you, where would I have been? <laughs> Wait, is that why you're crying? Yes, ma. Oh, please, come off it. If you were in my shoes, you would have done more than this. <laughs> so just stop it and don't, don't be a naughty girl. Come here. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now smile, smile, smile. It's okay. It's okay. I'm crying. Are you sure? <laughs> me. What are you doing here? Oh. Why are you always peering about and sneaking around your own house like a thief? It's a bad habit. What, what are you doing here? Do you want my husband to send me away from here? It chases you. That's not the worst thing. At least chasing you to my arms, which is what I want. A wise man always thinks himself to be a fool. And the fool thinks himself to be a wise man. Be careful! What are you talking about? Yeah, who's that you're talking to? <laughs> oh, it's just, it's me. I was just uh, <laughs> I was in the area. I just thought I should stop by and say hello. Oh, that's quite thoughtful of you. Yeah. Uh, do you want to come in? Oh, sh come on. Like I said, I was just in the area. I'm just passing through. Okay? Yeah, Fine. so you were just going. Okay, great. Thank you for stopping by. And um, say me well to your wife. She'll hear. Thank All you. Right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Greg? Oga, are you sure that Oga will not tell Madam? Don't worry about it, I'll, I'll handle it, okay? Now get back to my phone work. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this to me? There are millions of girls out there. You can get anyone for yourself with your looks. Why me? Okay, first, thank you very much for the compliments. And then, Shiny, why you? Because you're unique, beautiful. You have a beauty that comes from within. I love you, Shiny, that's the truth. I hate that word. I don't like it at all. In fact, you cannot force me to love you. It's impossible. Shiny, everybody is going to hurt you at some point or the other. What is important is focusing on the one person that you're, worth, you're, you're, you're willing to suffer for. Thanks for the advice. When I need it, I'll come for it. Trust me. Hey. You don't give up, do you? We make our own destiny, Shane. And you are mine. I do love you. Shiny! Shiny, come on! Sh
What are you doing here? I missed you. I couldn't sleep without seeing you. Don't tell me you were being fooled by the little drama that happened out there. Drama? Drama? Is, is that what you call it? Shine? Drama? The way I feel about you? What is going on between the both of us? Drama? That's what you call it. No, Shine. Look at me. If you don't want me here, if you don't care about me, if you don't love me, just tell me to leave and I'll walk away and you'll never see me again. Chill, chill, relax. I'm bedroom. sure that there's a place that I can stay or hide or go out from. Carried away by emotions and friendship. But, sir, I've taken my time to investigate their private businesses, and I can tell you that there's no skeleton in their cupboard. Private businesses, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> what about their private lives? There's no witch man without a skeleton in his cupboard. Sir, you're making a mountain out of Mohill. That's because we are trying to do so. We pledged for a country, remember? Of course, sir. Good. You need to listen to every conversation. Keep your ears down. And you will see the Lord in a microscope. I will, sir. that place hello hello hello
Hello? 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 Who is that you talking to? It was the wrong number. Is it the same wrong number that I just sent you a message? Uh, no, no, mine is better. Good night. Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Singing, smiling, you know, married woman. Where? I said, where the hell are you coming from? Nik Nik Nikita's place. Nikita's place. Nikita's place. Do you even have an iota of shame in you? For heaven's sake, Nikita is what everybody avoids. All married women out there avoid Nikita, but you, that is the person you choose to make friends with. You see where this friendship would lead you. Now get out of my sight, you're disgusting me. Baby, mm -hmm. haven't you noticed something about two people recently? Two people? Mm -hmm. Who are those? Shiny and Carl. Shiny and Carl? Yeah. What about Shiny and Carl? They seem to be happy, but not to like each other. I think there's something fishy about those two. Really? Yeah. Wow. How many times have I warned you to stay up people's business and mind yours? You shouldn't be putting your eyes into stuff that does not concern you. Am I understood? Okay, baby, I'll try. What's your problem? I'm touching you with my hand. Why? Why won't I remove your hand? Why? You ever happy I'm touching you? Other women like your friends are dying for the other one to touch them. I'm touching you and you're misbehaving. Yes, I'm misbehaving. All the ones that you've been touching since, what result do we have to show for them? Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to imply that I'm responsible for you being able to conceive? I am not just suspecting, but I know. All right. I'll surprise you. I'm waiting. <laughs>
I, I heard a loud scream upstairs, so I thought it was arm robbers. I had to rush down, checking everywhere until I heard the scream in this room. So, Aww. but I've checked. Finally, tell me yeah, I'm, I won't. Oh, baby, let's go here. Yeah? Uh, You don't need to look at the mirror. Your beauty is unique. You are a true definition of beauty. You shine like the sun. <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whenever my very sweet Anita talked like this, is it that she wants something? Oh, she wants to know something. So what do you want to know this time? You have been happy these days. And I'm really happy for you. Thank you. But mm -hmm. please, do not allow your husband to have any slightest idea that you have someone. And Miss Nikita should never find out that you're having an affair with her husband. Please, be careful. You're not serious, babe. Of course I'm serious. I'm planning a birthday party for you and it's going to be a bomb. I'm so excited. Happy birthday, 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 Is that why you want to kill her? Yes, is that my reason enough? If she does not tell me who's responsible for this pregnancy, I will beat this thing off her womb before killing her! You leave Joe! You don't talk to my Come on, shut up, Joe! Okay, sorry, now, not me to call her me, Joe. Madam, call her me, Joe. Very stupid man. Sorry, sir. You don't want to talk to me! You, you don't want to talk! <laughs> tell me! <laughs> tell me! <laughs> I said, tell me. You will kill her. Oga! Oga! Which Oga? My husband! Hey! Greg! This is what. She never get belay for you, okay? Why you now? You now just live with truth for one truth to get belay. Okay, no make sense, oh. But let me just tell you the truth. The truth be say, no be real. Give root to belay. Now me, now me give root to belay.
Helen. I was actually going to come, but my friends took me by surprise. They came to plan my birthday. Your wife was even here. You know how crazy she can get. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like now? No, no, it's impossible. I can't, I can't come. What? Are, are you serious? Okay, um, um, give me a minute. I'm coming. Yeah. First night at the hotel. Yeah. Why did you tell me it was your first time? Because it was not. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Then what, 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 what were all those reactions? Everything that happened, what's up with that? That was because I only did it once on our wedding night with my husband. But after that night, he didn't touch me again. Oh. I've always dreamt of having my own children. But no, my life in that house has always been hell. And she you barged into my life like a cute little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that my love for you is not a one night stand. Yeah. Okay? I'm here to stay for as long as you want me to. Thank you. And even longer <laughs> if I have my way. Mm? Yeah. I love you. Hold on, I'm coming. Who is it? Oh, hi. hi. What's up, Nikita? I'm cool, Austin. How are you doing? Hi. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. So what's good now? I'm okay. Oh, my friend is in Cal. Yes, he's upstairs. Oh, great. All right, then. Make yourself comfortable. I'll we'll get him. All right, thank you. How is wifey? Oh, she's good. Thanks okay. for asking. I'll join you soon. All right. Hey, my brother, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Same here, good to see you too. Please, sit, sit, sit. Thanks, man. What's popping? How much now? You don't see me now. Oh, good to see you. Good to see ah, you. you just be fresh up every day. Coming from you. Yeah. 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 I would right, say calm country. down. Calm down. <laughs> I mean, calm down. No, what I was going to ask, were you able to resolve that issue with your boss? Uh -uh. Sharp, sharp now. Okay. My boss will get issues. Right? Shabi, I tell you, say you they worry yourself unnecessarily. I mean, I was just unnecessarily worried. <laughs> yeah. We resolve that issue, Jerry. Awesome. Guy, awesome. I think I have your side, brother. But, uh, you don't see me now. Omo, oh, what's good? What's wife now? She's gonna be at home. Omo, something brought me to your place, you. It's something okay. very important. You. Okay. You know when I was saying say something is important, that means it's really important. I'm listening, please. <laughs> I'm listening. Mm. Guy, I've been having this bad feeling lately. Okay. Concerning you and Shiny. I don't know, it's big. It's kind of vague, Sha, but I don't know. I just feel there's something going. I don't know. I'm not saying there's something going between the two of you, but. You know, most times my feelings are usually very accurate. Maybe not 100%, but close though. See, guy, 
I hope my name is not saying you are. No, she's upset. See, I beg, I came to just beg you as a friend. If there's anything going between going on between you two, I beg. Just about it as quick as you can. See, forget these gentle guys. You know Michael, he has this gentle look, but gentle guys can be very mean. Though. Most times you don't know what is inside of them. See, there are lots of beautiful girls out there. My brother, you can pick any one of your children. She do here, calm down. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. See, just free the girl. Auntie, you are weak. Yes. So how are you feeling? I'm fine. I feel like I was not really sick before. I'm sorry. I know you have not eaten. Let me get you food to eat. I made fried rice and grilled chicken. Hmm. Wow. That would be nice. Though I'm not really hungry. Just get me a little. Okay. I know you're pregnant. Why are you afraid? You're afraid because it does not belong to your husband. <laughs> you don't need to be afraid. If Mr. Carl loves you and you love him, why not? I like him, he's a nice person. All I want for you is to be happy. You, you knew all along? Oh yeah? Even the night he slept here? Yeah? I saw you sneaking him in. I saw both of you together. I was there. I was in front of the door, watching. All I want is just for you to be happy. Thank you. Anita, why do you love me so much? <laughs> it's very simple. Because you're a wonderful and sweet person. <laughs> Anita, thank you. How is your investigation coming up? Sir, I already told you there is nothing up their sleeves. But then, there's a problem. Hmm. Problem? What is the matter? Ha. Ah. In fact, one of the women just found out that the husband is gay. Hmm. And she's threatening divorce. The other families, they are both cheats. And the other guy is sleeping with the other's wife. Hmm. I fear something terrible born to happen. If he finds out that he and the other one is sleeping with his jewel, this might be bloody, you know. Close your eyes. Okay. Can I open them? Yes, open them. What are you doing, Carl? I'm a married woman. I can't marry you. I'm sorry.
you called to see me urgently, right? Yes, sir. I hope there's no problem. How is your child and your wife? They are fine, sir. And how is your family too, sir? Good. So what is the problem? Hmm. Sir, someone among us just lost his wife, Michael. In fact, it was a terrible one. She was shot on her birthday. <sighs> Any evidence yet? Not yet, sir. But we're working on it. Good. I want you to remain undercover. You get the point, right? Yes, sir. Sir, we were informed that you traveled a week before your wife's birthday. Yes, I did. I was supposed to come back for the birthday, but um, something kept me. Okay, sir. May I know what kept you? Um, I got caught up in a meeting and um, yeah, it took quite a lot of my time, so I ran late. I am aware you missed your flight that same day. How did you eventually get on that same flight the next day? It's simple. I called the airport to postpone my trip and I realized I was running late. From the information we gathered, and you came in exactly 45 minutes after your wife was killed. Were you already in the country before you came or you just arrived? We, we just arrived, yeah. Just arrived? And you could still make it from the airport to your house in 45 minutes? Well, yeah, I, I, I had to get a cab, of course. That took some time, but yeah. How long did it take, to be precise, sir? Um, I'm not sure now, but... Um, Think about um, um, this. Look, I'm I'm not clear on how long, but I know I saw my wife about forty-five minutes after she died. Mm. It's okay, sir. It's fine. Uh, I promise you that we'll do everything in our power to get your wife's killers. When was the last time you saw your madam? An hour before she was killed. How close are you with your madam? Very close. She loves and treats me like her own sister. Because I bear the same name with her sister. So I'm the closest person aside from her sister. Hmm, I see. If you are that close to her, then you must know a lot about her. Yes, sir. I can help with few investigation. After working with her so much that day, she asked me to go and rest, but I refused. She insisted, and I left. <gasps> the police brought her body. Her face was full with blood. Blood. Well, thank you. Um, if we need more information, We'll come around, okay? Okay, sir. I will make sure her killers are brought to justice. Thank you. Um, officers, I hope um, you guys were able to get some um, useful information. Of course, we did. Still working on it. We'll get back if there's any further questions. What is wrong with you? Since the death of Shiny, you have refused to do anything. You have refused to eat or even talk to me. Why the hell are you missing her more than her husband? Answer me, you bastard! Because I've had enough of this. Oh, yeah. Very good. Work out on me. That's all you know how to do. Just work out on me. But I've had enough of this. Yes. I'm a detective.
detective from police headquarters. May I come in? Sure. Madam, how well do you know your husband? Very well. Any problem? Um, your husband was the first person that was seen with the celebrant before her death. And from the information we gathered... We so, to... so what? So what? What? Even if you found his bosses at the crime scene, that shouldn't come as a surprise. It shouldn't come as a shock to me. What? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. Are you Mr. Carl? Yes, that is me. That I'm is. Detective James. And I am Detective Betsy. Yeah, we are from the police headquarters. We need you to come with us for questioning as regards to the death of Mrs. Shiny Michaels. Now? Yes, of course. How far have you gone? What the investigation? Sir, a boy is arrested one of the suspects. He happens to be the guy going out with her. And he visited her earlier on her birthday before she died. Earlier? Who's this guy? His name is Carl, Nikita's husband. No, that's impossible. Earlier, from the information gathered, you told me he's the nicest among all and he cannot hold a fly. He's rich, his father is a king and a politician. He is one of the best medical doctors in this country. So that's not possible. I don't know, sir. But I'll definitely get to the root of this, sir. Hmm. Whatever you're doing, you need to act fast. We need to act fast before his father picks up this case. You know that if his father does, even the president will be interested. Mm. And that means war. If I ever catch those two, I killed my wife. I'm going to repeat them in the same kind. Those two? How do you know they were two? I don't know. I don't. I just, I just think it would be impossible for one person to carry out. Michael, Carl is our friend. And we both know that he's not responsible for the death of your wife. So? If you know anything that can lead us to the murderers and set Carl free, please speak up. 
אז עוד דברים יפים. But wait, why are you asking me all these questions? Are you the police? I'm asking because I just want to help. You're like a brother to me, and it breaks my heart to see you unhappy. Thank you. You have been very supportive through all this. Anita, I didn't do it. I didn't kill her. I, did, I didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. I believe you. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for believing me, Anita. I can't believe that I'm... I'm being held here. I'm, I'm being charged with the murder of the woman that I love. The only woman I've ever loved. What do you mean? You mean you never loved your wife? It's a long story. I've always been... <sighs> Don't shine it since we were kids. I've always loved her. We've always been in love with her. Even when we were younger, I... It was always her, Anita. I was going to marry her. And then I left. I went to the US to go. I went to the US for my masters. By the time I came back, she had fallen in love with some other guy and gotten married to him and I was left all alone by myself with nobody. At that point, I decided I was going to... I was just going to get married and settle down because I didn't see the point trying so hard anymore. If your love for her is true, then her love will fight for you. One thing I want to promise you is that for her sake, I will fight for you with the last drop of my blood. Officer, please be precise. How far have you got with the investigations? Sir, we arrested a suspect a day before yesterday. His name is Mr. Carl. Um, from the information we gathered... Uh, listen, 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 listen. Uh, even if we want justice done, that doesn't mean you start arresting just anybody. You see, whether the person is my daughter's friend or whatever, look, we want the right person arrested. Is that clear? Uh, sir, it, it's, it's a bit complicated, but I believe you need to see who this Carl is. Honey, please, let us go. You ask so many questions. We don't need these questions, please. We need to go and see who is that person that killed our daughter. Please, let us go. Dad, I think mom is right. Let's go and see the suspect they talked about. What? Uh... Justice, my brother, my good friend. I'm not fine. Something terrible happened. Yes, the killed Shiny, my daughter. Yes, we have reported the matter to the police. You know them as usual. They say they are on top of the game. I have told them that they must find the killers. They must. And they will be brought to justice. They must be punished. Oh, you'll be coming over? Oh, that'll be wonderful. Oh, that'll be great. My brother. Thank you so much. I'll be expecting you. Thank you. <sighs> 
So, my brother, that was how we lost Shadi, our daughter. You know, we reported the matter to the police and insisted that they must find our daughter's killers and have them arrested. Sure. So, just yesterday evening here, the DPO called me to say that they arrested a young man believed to be our daughter's male friend or lover in connection with her murder. <sighs> so, her husband maltreated her so badly that she, she couldn't take it anymore. Poor child. When we got to the station, an officer was asked to bring in the suspect. Mm. He went out mm. and came in with your son. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. My son? Yes. <laughs> That's not possible. Look, ever since that boy was a child, all he ever wished was to be a medical doctor, just to save lives. So I, 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 can, I can swear that he didn't do it. He didn't. Uh, look, I, I believe you. you know, I trust you. you know. We thought so, too. That was why we said they should uh, release him immediately. Oh. And uh, we decided to call you to let you know about it. You see, it's unfortunate that uh, the whole thing happened. However, I still believe that, uh, you know, something can be done, yeah. Oh my God. Where is the fuel? <clears throat> you remember when you asked what you can do for me in return for Favors I have done in time past. And I said nothing. Now is the time that I need that favor. I will be most grateful, Your Highness, to do anything for you. <laughs> um, my friend here, Dan, lost his daughter oh. a few days ago. Precisely on her birthday. My son was framed up. Arrested as a suspect because they were dating. Though she's married. That's a tricky one. Okay. Um, where was the husband when this incident happened? Uh, he said he was out of the country. So, is he back yet? According to them, he came back the same day, 45 minutes after the incident. 45 minutes after the incident? <laughs> okay, um, Your Highness, I think I would like to speak with the IPU in charge of the case. Let me see what they've gathered in the course of their investigation. Yeah. Then I will speak with your son too okay. to hear his own side of the story. And probably any other person that was around during the incident so that we know how to put up our defense. It's all right, Barrister. We will furnish you with all the details that you need. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my condolences, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and that's why we invited you to come over. <laughs> Yeah. So, thank you very much for the honor. Yeah. Mm. Well, Mr. Carl, would you please explain to this honorable court where you were at the last place to study deceased? Earlier in the day, earlier in the day on her birthday, uh, 
just before her party. Hmm. Before her party? Well, I wouldn't think you are part of the caterers, neither did you go there to decorate the place. So what will wonder what took you there so early? Well, perhaps to perpetrate your crime? To kill her? Just on my lord. My colleague is already passing by on my client. Objection sustained. Barrister David. Can you rephrase your question? Apologies, my lord. I take that back. And I would rather rephrase it this way. Mr. Carl, please tell us why exactly you had to go back there. I went back. I went back because I, I, because I, I wanted to propose to her because I, I love her. Propose! Propose! Well, my lord, Mr. Collier is fully aware that the deceased is happily married, living right in her husband's house. And then, why would you have to go propose to her? So please, tell us what happens thereafter. She turned me down because because she was afraid of what her husband would say or, or do if he saw her with another man's ring. Ah, well, my lord, if I can process Mr. Carl's thoughts and um, the events that took place thereafter, you perhaps could not undo the rejection. You lack, you, you lack the psychological stamina to process the thoughts. And then you felt... It's either my way or the highway. If I can't have her, then nobody should. Then you have to do what you have to do. I didn't kill her. I'm not a well, 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 just calm it down. Calm it down. Well, my lord, with this kind of temper and rage you are seeing, it's only a pointer that uh, the accused here probably had the capacity to commit this crime and the motive has been established. Well, I would like to rest it here, my lord. Thank you. Um, please, my lord, can I have uh, my help? Mr. Michael, where were you on the day of the incident? I was out of the country. I was in the state. Okay. Were you aware that that day was your wife's birthday? Of course. I was supposed to be around for the party, but... Um... I missed my flight the previous day. Okay. So, how many of you went for that trip? I was alone. Um, Mr. Michael, if I may ask, how close were you with your late wife? I mean, why do you refuse touching her? Was it because you were cheating on her? I wasn't cheating on my wife. And I do not know where you gathered this information about me not touching my wife. However, even if I don't, it's not an excuse for my wife to, you know, throw herself around like a common, silly prostitute. Mr. Michael, it's barely one week that you lost your wife and you're already giving her names. That showed how close you were and how you really, really loved her. Um, my Lord, I rest my case for now. Thank you. Babe, babe, I, I have something I want to share with you, but promise me you won't get mad. Only if you promise me that you won't get mad at me too. I promise. I promise too. The get man wasn't responsible for the house girl's pregnancy. I was. We took a test when we tried to have an abortion before you found out. I was also planning to abort mine too. You mean you you were actually sleeping with my kids, man? You're so cheap. What? You call me cheap? You're the cheapest, craziest and the most arrogant human being I've ever seen in my whole life. And you're a cruel, mean, selfish, self-centered and stupid prostitute there is. I want a divorce. Yes, I want a divorce too. I've aborted the pregnancy. 
to be. be I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Remember we both had me about to get yeah, married. Yeah, we did. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm a Christian. Do you wish to swear or to affirm? I wish to swear. Now place your hand on this holy Bible and repeat after me. I, I, Anita, okay, okay. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give in this case. That the evidence I shall give in this case. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Um, Miss Anita, how long have you worked for a disease and the husband? It's almost two years now. Two years. How will you describe the relationship between the disease and Mr. Michael? My madam was always trying to be close to my boss. But my boss was always busy working, traveling and sleeping around with Mr. Nikita, even on his matrimonial bed. My lord, I wish to rest the case Mr. Michael, are you having an affair with Mrs. Nikita? I do not understand how my having an affair with Miss Nikita, whether true or not, uh, how it affects the case. Okay, thank you. Uh, my lord, uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Barrister David, Do you have anything more? Well, my lord, I think this case has given us enough lead on its own. Because we saw before this honorable court how the accused display his temper. And I think that gives enough um, capacity to commit this crime. And then, motive was established. So, I think I can leave that to you to decide, my lord. Thank you. As it is now, just as Barrister David rightly said, this case seems to be the smallest we have seen and handled. Even if we have to finally conclude that the accused is responsible for the crime, we still need more evidence. Therefore, to give this honorable cat more time to think and give the lawyers chance to dig up more evidence. This case, therefore, has been adjourned to the 22nd of next month. And that was how we started dating, Nikita and I. It was a brief and tempestuous relationship. But Shortly after we got married, and Austin, I know good like give you. I was miserable for much of the marriage because I was in love with someone else. <sighs> my mother died because of this woman. And just the moment I started getting my happiness back, all of this nonsense started happening. But Shiny, why, why would anybody want to do that kind of thing to Shiny? Why would anybody want to kill her? She's a nice person. Hey? Bro, you've been through a lot. 
You've been through a lot, trust me. It's really a pity. But as it stands right now, this case is a complex one. You know I'm your guy. I always tell you the truth. But not to say that all hope is lost. See, there's no evidence right now to prove your case. But you're the only one that can set yourself free. How? How do I do that? See, the person that did this is out there roaming the streets thinking that he has won. But at the end, there will be lights at the end of the tunnel, trust me. Austin, all this way they talk, it's nice to hear, but what can I do? Good. You know you're my guy. I can go any length for you. Then is, uh, just reach under the table. I just gave you a tape recorder. With that recorder, you can record at least for nothing less than three hours. You know, somebody might just come. Anybody can come. Anybody is a suspect right now. So whoever comes, ensure that you activate the recorder. At least it should record for nothing less than three hours. Oh, so which time start all this one? <laughs> are you are you intelligence agent? <laughs> yeah, I can neither confirm or deny, but just I mean just what we delete I gave you. <laughs> So you remember that you have a husband, Nikita? Such the acid. You know you should be apologizing to me. Instead you are talking crap. You should be apologizing to me for sleeping with that good for nothing slut. Shut up! Have you no respect for the dead? <sighs> slut! That's what she is. Bloody shit. You have no shame. Sleeping with me and that stupid, timid, inexperienced slut. I have no shame. No, you don't. I have no shame, Nikita. You were sleeping with your friend's husband. She <laughs> You left your husband, you were cheating on your husband with your friend's husband, and I have no shame? Look, I have nothing to say to you, Nikita, but as for that bastard that oh, just... please, will you just shut up? Just shut it! I won't have you call him names or insult him! Because he's more of a man than you will ever be. You know what? I am so done with you. <laughs> what is so funny? What is so funny? Your face. What is that supposed to mean, Michael? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, look at you. <laughs> oh, Carl. You know what? Um, for old times' sake. Mm -hmm. Considering the fact that um, you might possibly die or spend the rest of your life in jail, to be nice for you to know the truth. Yes. You see, all that's been going on, your party, that was Nikita and myself. Yes. You didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, and I know about um, you and your mistress, Shiny. Oh, yes. I've always known. Hmm? <laughs> what did you guys take me for? Really? That I was a fool? I was stupid? What? You guys thought you were going to... Get away with everything you've done? No. Nobody messes with me. And so I had to put that little whore in a place. You better do that! What would you do? Huh? 
Tell me. Tell me what did you do, Carl? What did you do? Kill me like you do. You mess. I didn't kill anybody. Oh, really? I didn't kill anybody. You murderer. I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> My lord, uh, in between the days, this case will have done more evidence in demand. And I would like to tender them to this honorable court for consideration. Go get that from him. Show it to the defense counsel. Mark this exhibit one A. Now, Barrister David. Yes, my lord. Do you have anything for this court? Well, in mind of this media fire that we can only ask the grace that this court adjourn this case so that my clients and I can take a look at this media fire that we have. Thank you, my lord. My honorable barrister. Are you in agreement with that? Yes, ma'am. In the light of this new development. This case has been adjourned. Hereby, has been adjourned to the 16th of next month. As the court this. Nikita and Michael actually planned Shiny's birthday party to shoot her. Nikita popping the wine and Michael shooting immediately. Hmm. Arrest for the murder of Shiny Douglas. What? Austin, is this a joke? What, what's going on here? Austin? Undercover. Michael, move now. Get into the car. Move. Austin, come. Michael, move. Austin, we can we can talk about this. Move. Austin, you know we can actually talk about this. I said move. 